for tuning back in. So I know a lot of y'all, when you come in for a tour at the venue, I always love to ask, what is your wedding vision? What's your theme? What are your colors? I just love hearing everyone's different ideas because it's always so much fun seeing how different everyone's wedding is and then it really matches your personality. So whenever I ask those questions while you're touring, a lot of times people have been telling me, well, I don't know, we just got engaged. I haven't really decided yet. So what I wanted to do today is kind of show you a tool that will help you whenever you're first getting started and learning what your wedding vision really is. And so that way it's something that you've always dreamed of and it'll match your personality and it's just gonna be beautiful. So the tool is on the knot. It's actually free to sign up. So all you do is put in your email address and your name and then it asks you a couple questions about like who you're engaged to, all that kind of good stuff. So once you make an account, it's totally free, just go to the knot.com. Then on the left hand side, you're just gonna click on wedding vision and it's a little quiz. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm actually gonna take the quiz with you so that way we can compare our wedding styles and see what they are. So I'm really excited to find mine out. I actually never have taken this quiz before. This is my first time. So I'm very anxious to see what my wedding style is if I was gonna get married again. So um, first question, are you hosting your ceremony in a religious setting? Um, I am religious, I am a Christian, but I would get married at the venue, not in a church. So I'm going to put not in a religious setting. All right, ceremony spaces. You can X or heart at least four of the 29 images. Oh goodness, okay. And don't get offended if I X one that you love, that's totally fine. We don't have to have the same vision, does not have to be the same wedding, that'd be really boring if everyone had the exact same wedding. So you choose what you wanna choose. <laughs> Um, I'm not a big fan of downtown events just because they're so crowded. Parking is awful in downtown Dallas if y'all have ever been there. I just cannot imagine having my wedding there. Um, Rustic Lodge, love that one. Uh, ooh, love that one. Mm, love that one. A lot of these are so pretty. I don't know which ones to pick. <laughs> okay. I think. Don't like that one. And the rest of them I'm pretty neutral about. So let's go to the next question. All right, receptions. So, same thing X or heart at least four of the 30 images. Um, um, this one. I could have this exact setup right there. I would be happy. And if you hold your mouse over the image, it tells you like more of what it is too. Rustic ballroom. <laughs> that is me. That's probably why I work here is because it is a rustic ballroom. Casual ranch, that's cute too. Bohemian Industrial. Yeah. A lot of these are so pretty. Classic Barn. Table setting, so X or heart at least four of the 29. So the table setting um, is something that really is personalized and it's really fun to see at different weddings here at Hidden Creek how many people do things so differently. Like I honestly don't think I've ever seen the same place setting twice. It's always a different charger, plate, salad plate, like different color forks and knives, the glasses. It's always so much fun. And that's honestly the first thing I notice when I walk into a wedding is if like the plates are on the tables and the way it looks. I just think it makes the room look more full and put together if you have chargers and plates on the tables. I personally really love that look. This one's a really pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. How do you ever see um, Okay, this one. Oh. Oh, that one. Put that through 
same colors as mine, mine was pink and red. That's cute and fun. I don't know, they're all so good. I love that one. Uh, I like this one so much that I almost want to heart it, but I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna do it. I like it. Okay. Let's go to our next one. Bouquets. So heart or X four of these images. So if you'll notice, these bouquets are all different styles. So like this one is more round and this one has more like coming off of it, branching. Um, so whenever you're planning your wedding and you're talking to your florist, that's one of the questions they're gonna ask you, by the way, is what style bouquet you want. I was not prepared for that question when I went to the florist and I was just like, I thought bouquets just came in one standard setting. I didn't know you got to pick. So if you haven't yet looked on Pinterest and you need to scroll through and like this, um, figure out which style bouquet you like the best. I love that one. This is a really difficult decision. Okay, I love that one. I like cascading. I would rather put more color in there too, but I like that it's not just basic and round. I like that one. Um, I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> don't like that one, it's a little too round for me. And I like that one. Okay. Dessert decorations. Okay, this one is gonna be super easy for me because love the donuts. Um, love the simple with the flowers. I don't don't like that one. The whole naked cake thing, I totally get it. I know it's like 99.9% .9 of everyone loves the naked cake look. I am the 0.1% that does not. Okay. So see your style results. See what I got. <laughs> okay, so I got rustic, elegant, with a touch of formal, so basically Hidden Creek to a T. Um, backyard, garden, or trees, yep. And I got earth tones, so a lot of neutrals with greenery and burgundy, which is very popular. And I got married in October, so those are really good fall colors. So it seems like my style has not changed that much. If you scroll down, it will also show you venues in the area. It'll make suggestions for cakes in the area, all kinds of good stuff. So this is really a helpful website, thenot.com. It's amazing. Um, if you're on it, be sure to look us up, Hidden Creek. We are on the knot. So be sure to check us out. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also comment down below with what your results are. I'm really curious to see how many of y'all got the same thing as me or if yours were different. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.